Hi guys, it's five minutes past midnight, so technically Saturday morning now, the 16th, yep, <sighs> I've actually had one of those weeks where I've felt like doing absolutely nothing, I've been doing quite a bit, but I've just felt unmotivated, you know, most of what I've done has been forced, and not really that interesting, you know, a bit of cleaning up in the flat, uh, repair work on my sister's bicycle, which is still here, she was meant to pick that up two days ago, <laughs> but I haven't heard or seen, heard from her or seen her. Right, I've also got three parcels all boxed up and posted. Uh, the last lot of micro machine cars, my CD radio cassette player that I had up on eBay for the second time actually sold. So that's uh, that's um, been posted as well. And an item that I have posted to someone completely free. No postage charge, no item charge. Right. But before I go and show you what I've posted, because I've still got some identical ones here. A few bits on here I want to show you. First, from Lidl's, I picked up one of these. What is it? It's a little thing that goes in the end of a cordless drill. I don't know if I'd use it on an impact drive because I think this would actually break. Because um, when I rotate that, it feels very. You can hear it. Yeah, um, I don't know, I'd have probably put some grease on that before I assembled it, I don't think they did. I can see there's bearings and things, but what it is, it goes in your drill, and this bit is angled. As you can see, it's not quite a perfect 90 degree angle either. It's done so you can get, like, uh, under a surface like this, so you can get up like that to screw things in. A lot easier. Um, it was actually in the reduced bin for three pounds fifty, so I thought that might be handy as a little handle that screws in as well. So if I actually put this handle on, it looks like a mini angle grinder, <laughs> doesn't it? Look like well, it needs a disc on it. So I picked that up. It was cheap. I should have got another one because I could have got my stepdad one. As a little Christmas gift as well, because he likes anything like this, little gadgets and things. But uh, I went back and the other ones had sold. Um, the other thing I got out of Lidl's is something that has a... <laughs> the craze has sort of gone away now, but another one of these. So I've now got three. Um, this one isn't too bad. It's a little bit noisy with the spinning, but not too bad. Quite a nice visual effect there. Um, it's very similar, actually. I think that... Yeah, the shape is a little bit different to this one, which I got out of QDs. And the other difference is these look like bearings as well, sealed bearings, but these centre bits don't actually rotate on this one. So I'm not actually sure if they are, but I don't think they are bearings, to be honest. I think they are just like metal weights with holes in. But this one's actually a lot quieter. But it was only one pound more. This was two ninety nine from QDs. This one was one ninety nine, and these are actually bearings in here. See. But, uh, yeah, this one works well. And the other one I got is this 
thing because uh, well that's why it lights up but the problem with this one is it's a lot lighter because obviously these bits in the end are not as heavy and as you can see it doesn't spin for as long because it hasn't got the weight to keep the momentum it still spins nice and freely but because there's no weight to it to keep the momentum going for longer it just doesn't spin as well and these bits actually push out quite easily I'm not sure if that's deliberate to change the batteries or, or what it is but probably not good for little kids at least because they might easily swallow those and that wouldn't be good so yeah I've got a third one I only bought that one because you know it was only $1.99 and uh, I just like the colour of this one actually the red black and silver I just think that's quite a nice colour and I do like uh, sitting here sometimes and just spinning it like that um, oddly enough it does help with my uh, Asperger syndrome in that it does uh, if I'm feeling a little anxious or something it does help with that um, even if I'm feeling a little bit angry or whatever I actually find these help so that's why I like to keep them on my desk close at hand close at hand no pun wasn't intended look at these bloody things Liddles have brought back as well look these stickies they don't stick very well but, uh, they're meant to be um, fruit and vegetable themed this year last year it was a football theme this year was it last year yeah I'm sure it was last year yeah it was and this year it just seems to be vegetables I'm not sure what the hell he is meant to be but if you spend ten pound no sorry for every ten pound you spend you get a free one of these if you spent twenty pounds you'd get two and so on, £30, £3, £40, £4, £50, £5, etc. Or they're 29 pence each, if you choose to buy them. And you get lots of little um, other knickknacks to go with them as well, but they're just sort of like a daft novelty. Um, for any of the bronies and pegasus sisters that I might have on my channel, because I've noticed I've got a few more subs, I have got some blind bag figures recently as well. We've got Fluttershy. I'm going to have to get the cards for two of these because I can't remember their names. We have Big Mac. We have. Oh, it just happens that their cards are right on top because they come with the cards as well. Sprinkle Medley. Look at their freaky eyes, look. <laughs> what can they put those eyes on? And why did they have to go with the freaky eye? <laughs> it's like someone shoved a stick up her ass, and that's her reaction. Anyway, the other one is Royal Riff. Here he is. The same mould as Big Mac, look. They cheat. I suppose it's done because it's cheaper to manufacture and quicker. Because factories have to, uh, you know, meet demands and whatnot and orders. So I expect that's why figures like this all use the same mould. I mean, there's no end of blind bag figures that use these. That sort of mould. And it's used for Fluttershy here. So I'm going to put those up. And I was in a charity shop that my cousin actually manages. 
and she was in that day. And I bought a bunch of 45s, singles, which I'll show you in a minute, and this. Although, I noticed, my cousin didn't say anything, but I noticed she didn't charge me for this. The total came to £6, and that should have been £6.25. But anyway, it's a little um, fun rise. I keep forgetting the name for that brand. Do I need? Oh yeah. I've got a few things that I. Um... By the way, this is going to be quite a long video, probably. <laughs> so you've been warned. But anyway, I did uh, get a few things at a yard sale, a village-wide yard sale event thingy. You know, all the proceeds went to charity. It's like having a car boot sale, but a yard sale where houses in that particular village all take part. They pay a fee like you would if you were going to a car boot and get their address put on a little map and you, and uh, customers like me can go and buy the map if we wish. Or buy a map, it's a one pound donation to the charity. But uh, it does help, especially if you're not local and don't really know the area. But I got this. I don't actually know why I got it, but it was 50p. It's one of them um, scarp things. <laughs> you got three inputs here, I think. Yeah. That goes out to your TV stroke monitor. Yeah, it actually has got TV stroke monitor written on it. And then you got these two RCA outputs up the top there as well, so I suppose you could connect another two TVs or something to it, if you really wanted. And it's got um, record and view at the bottom there. It's got S, VHS, Hi8 and RGB compatible. So basically everything back in the day is what that would be compatible with. Like, and I actually had one of these in black. I can't remember what I did with it. But I got that with a light which I have actually... Well, I've thrown the casing in the bin because it broke. But I actually only bought it for the cable. Oh, that, there's a price tag on that. I've just realised that come off the box it was in um, and a strip of LEDs when I can find them so it used to be a little fluorescent light that goes in like caravans and things but someone had converted it to uh, have this little LED strip in it rather than the fluorescent light and I can't find a damn thing now I can't miss it because it's still all wild 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 up oh here it is it's one of those, <laughs> believe it or not, I don't know if you can still get them, but my brother bought some of these to put on his car. You put them on your car, wire them up to you. To a power supply, maybe a switch, or wire it up so it comes on when you turn your ignition on. You know, day running lights, I think they're called, but let me thin and shitty that wire is. Cheap as hell on eBay these were, but like I said, I don't actually know if this works yet because I haven't tried it. And that's all it was, it was just folded around like that. But uh, my brother had him on his car, I don't even know if he's still got the car. <sighs> he's the brother I barely see because uh, he's got a girlfriend. Wicked Witch from the East, or the North, East, South and West is what I'd call her, but never mind. It's his life choice. He knows how we feel, so... Oh yeah, I got this as well. A uh, PC Phantom Logic 3 joystick. And I'll get into why I bought this in a minute, but uh, it does feel good for what it is. And it came in the box, three quid. I thought it was actually quite a decent price, as long as it works. Oh yeah, from a charity shop the other day I had to get him. Look at this. Look. Look at it. Eh. Well, I'm being random tonight. It could be because I'm tired, or it could be because I'm bored, or it could be because of both. 
anyway, <laughs> I've got my uh, 45s here, so I'm going to take a seat on here before we get into why I bought that joystick. I don't know why. I just like buying these to play on my record players. I'm not really keen on the LPs. It would actually have to be an album that I'm interested in for me to buy an LP. Anyway. We have Cliffy Boy. We have Cliff Richard. I've just noticed because of the orientation of this camera, because it flicks, it's actually coming up on my screen backwards. <laughs> I've got Danny's home and shaking all over. And anyone that has seen um, Beverly Hills Cop will recognise this one. Oh, it's got that old, that old smell to it as well. Axel F. Harold Faltermeyer. I think I pronounced that correctly. I think it's got shootout on it as well. Because these have A and B sides. Then we've got Wham! Last Christmas. A bit early, but I what I saw it and I just wanted to get something Christmassy to put on the record player. We've got another one from Wham! Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. And on the B side, it's the same song, but the instrumental version. I don't know if there's any Chev fans out there, but we've got uh, the Shoop Shoop song. And Baby I'm Yours. What's this one? Probably one of my favourites from Duran Duran. Wild Boys. Does it say what's on the side two? Uh, cracks in the Pavement. And my favourite song from the Arrhythmics, Sweet Dreams. I'm made of this. Oh, and it includes Love is a Stranger as well. I presume that's the B-side song. Some Billy Joel. You see, all of these songs I have actually got on the computer. But as I said to Mum, it doesn't sound the same as playing one of these through a decent record player. And I've got a couple of them. Three, four actually. Uh, but I actually haven't tested the one under the bed because it needs a stylus and they ain't cheap. But uh, here we go. I've got Bronx... Bronx... Bron... Bronski Beat. There we go. If I break it down into three syllables I can say it. Bronski Beat with Y and Cadillac Car on the other side. Nearly there. I've got two more to go. Can we talk a bit about computers? Uh, this is the Communards. We've got The Great Escape on the B side here and... Never Can Say Goodbye on the A side. And another one from the Communards I think a lot of people will recognise. That's probably my sort of age and a bit older. Don't Leave Me This Way. It's one of my favourite songs. Back when I used to live with my parents and whatnot, or live with mum I should say, because by that time mum and dad had split. I used to put a lot of music channels on, especially the 80s one, and this used to be played a lot. Don't leave me this way, I can't sing. Or I don't think I can sing anyway. It doesn't say who was on the drums. Some more 45s for my uh, collection. What do you my one? They're 50p each in the charity shop I get them from. But then again, it's the only charity shop I've said. Oh no, it isn't. There is another one, but they only had LPs. And like I said, I'm not really interested in that. Unless I see one that catches my eye. But they're 50p each for the 45s, £1 for the big LPs. Anywho. And it'll flip you around. Over there is two computers. Bottom one, and because I'm lazy, I'm going to use the zoom, has got a brand new motherboard in it. Well, I say brand new, it's brand new to me. I actually bought it on eBay used, uh, thanks to a loan from my younger brother, so I've got to pay him back. The sooner I can do that, the better, because I don't like keeping people waiting. But anyway. 
it came with the i3 processor which is underneath that heatsink and it came with all that as well it came with the IO shield and the two SATA cables you can see the only problem I've got with it is which uh, I should have checked before I hit the buy it now button or made the offer I should say uh, <laughs> video card that I'd want to put in there won't fit well it will but it means the two sockets where these SATA cables are plugged into I can't use well I could only use one because <laughs> uh, the plastic bezels and whatnot make up the cooler this one hasn't got it because it's all built into the actual metal cooler uh, but I've got another one like that one I've taken the plastic bezel off and as you can see the fan is part of said bezel but that's the only way I can get that one to fit is if I take that plastic surround off so I could make that one work if I fix the fan itself back on there but uh, it's because the plastic bit covers over the SATA connectors and uh, <laughs> I can't plug anything in I can use the um, angled SATA connectors but when I plug one of those in it covers up the second socket so I still can only use one under there for what I want to do with this machine I need all four so kind of back to the drawing board on that one but not all is lost I can put that motherboard into another machine or just put it up somewhere safe and keep hold of it as a spare I don't know yet uh, I'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it but uh, for now I wasn't actually intentionally trying to zoom in slow I just couldn't get the finger on the bloody zoom so uh, that is on hold at the minute till I pretty much decide what to do but uh, I know it's going to sound early but as Christmas is fast approaching I'm going to have to think about that as well before I start throwing money into things like this because I do it every year I leave it right till the last minute and I've got nothing for anyone and then mum has to help me out and I don't want to do that this year I want to do the shopping myself anyway this is what the joystick is related to because uh, I've got a shed load of figuratively speaking not literally a shed of PC games in there there's many in there that will run on Windows 98 I think there's some in there that will run on Windows 95 as well but that 95 doesn't have a game port because that controller's got the old 15 pin doo -doo -doo, connector on it along with this controller so my Windows 98 down there has got all the CCTV stuff on it so I just wanted to leave that one as it was because you won't come across those that often so I built a new Windows 98 machine using my big old mesh case that I got with that job lot of computers that I got that uh, those Dells and whatnot in because um, the motherboard in here was dead that was beyond repair <coughs> well I could have repaired it but it just wasn't worth it so uh, there's a sticker <laughs> Windows XP so I'll just show you what the motherboard is that I used it is an ASRock you'd probably, you'd probably think looking at it I put Windows XP on it looking at that motherboard but I didn't it is Windows 98 and it is running perfectly almost no actually it is running perfectly uh, the model number if anyone wants to uh, google it and have a look at the specs is a K7S41GX and I've got an Nvidia video card in it a 120mm fan, 350 watt power supply thereabouts, it actually says 340 watt max but here it says the total is 360 so I just like to call it 350 512 megabytes of RAM but it only sees 
a uh, 384 20 gigabyte main drive I'm going to turn this on 40 gigabyte slave drive which isn't seen on the desktop I'll show you what I mean if you look here post screen it's there slave IDE hard disk although it's not actually picking up the name I think it's a Western Digital it's a bit noisy uh, so I need to figure out how to get it to recognize that secondary drive I might try another one it's just got standard floppy disk up here it's the standard CD drive it's not even a DVD drive that came with it actually and I'm surprised for Windows XP that it didn't come with a DVD drive. Like I said, NVIDIA video card, but I can't actually see the sticker on it without pulling it out and having a look. The processor is a 2.1 GHz AMD Athlon 2600 Plus. Um, which I think can be overclocked. Possibly, because it I read up the specs on it and it said that it's rated at 26 but apparently the real rating is around about 2.1 I said 26 didn't I? I should have said 2.6 but apparently it's real rating is 2.1 so but as you can see it's running and uh, if I go into my computer even though it detects the drive there it's not there do I need drivers or something I can't remember for the life of me what I need to do. But while we're here, we'll go into control panel, we'll go into system. There's the information there. AMD Athlon XP 2600 Plus. Okay. It works. When I searched the motherboard, not only did it have the XP drivers on the website, if I remember correctly, it was the ASRock website. But it had drivers for Windows 98 as well, so I downloaded those, installed those, and away we went. The LAN works, the onboard audio and game port works. Uh, the onboard VGA works, so I would still get this nice 32 bit colour even if I used the onboard graphics. That's the reason I picked this specific Nvidia card, because that was the only one out of all my AGP cards that I could find Windows 98 support for. Uh, it did have USB 2 drivers, but every time I clicked on the installer to run it, this would crash. <laughs> so that's the only thing that's not installed, so I'm guessing it still sees the USB 2s as the USB 1s. It does have the front ones for, for front ones, I don't know what the heck happened there. So it's working, I'm happy with it. I haven't tried any games on it, so I don't, I don't have a clue on how well it's going to perform. Probably crap. <laughs> but this is how quick it shuts down. Less than 10 seconds, probably. Takes longer to boot up than shut down. This actually shuts down much faster than my Windows 10 machine in the lounge. Nearly said bedroom. I've got a habit of calling this the lounge and this the bedroom, and I have no idea why. <sighs> oh yeah, I installed Cinebench on here and ran the um, render test on my processor and it failed miserably. Uh, <laughs> obviously, it compares it to a lot of processors, both modern and, you know, sort of around the time for this one. And it was still at the bottom of the list. But for some reason it compared it all to Intel processors. So, basically the processor is just friggin' shit on here. It really is. That's why I want to upgrade it. It's, well I say it's shit. Strictly speaking, it isn't. It's great for the general use that I do. You know, if I saved my videos in just a standard format and not HD, it would be fine for that. My processor doesn't hate me. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it really hates me when I start saving videos in high def for some reason. It bottlenecks the...
processor badly. I mean, I've told you before how badly it bottlenecks it. It's a pain in my backside. There. But uh, when I'm just sitting here, you know, just doing my general stuff on here, browsing Facebook, playing Facebook games and whatnot, and a couple of games that I play. My brother actually bought me Car Mechanic Sim 2015. I don't know if that's going to run on here or not. I haven't tried it yet, but there it is. 2014 does, just. <laughs> it's a little bit temperamental, but it did work last time I played it. My summer car is fine. It does lag a little bit when I run OBS, because I have been doing some experiments and experimental recordings with it. Um, pretty much if I actually close that close Skype, then I could run my summer car and OBS together. We zoomed in still? No. So, yeah. Other than that, this thing actually works, like I said, great just for general use. I think that's all that processor is really good for, you know. Just your general, everyday use. It's, it's not a hard-working processor, unfortunately. It, uh, oh well. It just means I get to upgrade. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Well, I did because coincidentally it opened the um, web page that I wanted to open. Oh, that was it. Um, this eBay here. Matt Zidar 2011 uh, has sent me some free barricade lamps, road lamps, call them what you will. Here they're just called road lamps in America. I know you call them barricade lamps because they're often on barricades, which makes sense. But over here you get cone brackets so I can sit on cones and I can sit on just about anything really. <laughs> but anyway. He sent me a few in the past, you know, free and a few accessories and things, you know, spares. But he messaged me asking if I had, or if I would sell rather, one of my JSP mini lights with a photo cell and it had to be static. Um, and he said, uh, my scruffy one minus the handle would be perfect. You know, did I want to sell it? And I sort of thought to myself, hmm, I could sell it. It's not worth a lot, you know, it'd be worth, I don't know, four or five quid, if that. Um, but the one he wanted didn't have the photo cell. It was static, but it didn't have the photo cell. Um, if you don't know what the photo cell is, it just means it comes on at night and goes off in the morning. So, I had two of those with the photo cell circuits in. Right there. Now I've only got one, because I swapped the circuits with the one I've just uh, posted to him for free. I've returned the favour. You know. You know, as I say, one good turn deserves another. He's looked after me, I look after him. on this shelf. I've still got that bracket to put under there as well. I've got the brackets, they're all lined up on there, look. There they all are, ready to go on the walls and ready to do those shelves. Well, I can be asked. <laughs> like I said, I don't know why, but lately I've just felt really unmotivated. The Cat's Custom Trikes has been asking for ages. If I would peddle over and just give her a hand with a couple of things. I just, well, a couple of reasons I haven't. One, I have just felt so unmotivated, not depressed or anything. Maybe a little bit miserable on some days, but who doesn't feel like that sometimes? Just really unmotivated, just can't be asked. I've got really no other excuse apart from that. Well, 
Apart from a certain problem that rears up every now and again, which I'm going to see the doctor about. For those that don't know, I suffer with hemorrhoids. And I'm getting so pissed off with it now. Because it used to be where it would flare up like once a year if I was lucky. And I'd just use the cream, it would go away and I'd, everything would be good. But ever since Christmas, I have had issues almost constantly and it is now getting to the point it's pissed me off so much yes I am scared to go to the doctor I will admit that you know I am scared to let strange people touch me if you like it could be an Asperger thing I don't know but um, I'm not very keen on people touching me at the best of times but uh, I just, I don't want to keep suffering like this. It's, I can't describe the pain. Probably nowhere near as bad, well, no, not probably. It isn't anywhere near as bad as childbirth. I'm not a woman, but I've seen <laughs> the pain they go through. <clears throat> Definitely not as bad as that, but it's fucking painful. And the worst thing is, I think I've got three of them at least and it's only one that's caused me all this problem. Missed. But anyway, enough about my problems. <clears throat> as annoying as it is, but like I said, I've got an appointment on the 25th to go and see my GP. So hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. Ah! I had to go there with that one, it just had to be done. Although there could be a hole in the diagnosis. <laughs> I'll stop now. Right. I think I've actually covered everything that I want to... No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I did buy one more thing when I was at these yard sales. I'm not really sure if I actually did good, but it was only £2, so I suppose either way it was good. <laughs> Got myself one of these. Now, this is exactly what my bike trailer out front is made from. Well, the main box of it is, anyway. Because um, my friend had one of these, and he was going to scrap it, because all of this bit was all totally busted and bent and beyond repair. This one's broken, but I can repair it. Anyway. This was only £2. This one is different to the one out front, because it's got higher sides, and from this side to that side, it's a lot narrower than mine. Um, but ideally I'd like to keep this on here simply because of this handle and it's going to sit better like that if, when I pull it but uh, I can actually take this handle off to reveal like a hitch piece here that would I presume go on the back of a, a ride on mower or garden tractor something like that so you can tow it around your garden um, or you can put the handle back on and pull it by hand but uh, it will work with the hitch that was made to pull the trailer out front so once I get this fixed it would actually have a double purpose hopefully <laughs> um, but I've just got to fix a metal plate that goes between these wheels it's usable as it is but What's going to happen is, much I suppose, if I can't fix that, I could actually take all these wheels off and just have this pivoting hitch on it instead. <laughs> that's that's another possibility. Actually, I could do it that way, but I'll try and get these fixed. 
take a bit of ingenuity to do it, but see if I can do it without having to weld. But anyway, that's my new toy. If I can get it to work the way I want, I will give it a nice coat of paint as well. I'll go to bed early because I well I will go to bed soon because I've got to be up early. Um, I am actually tempted to sell some more of my own bikes out of the shed to minimise what I've got in there because there's lots in there I don't use. Mind you, where my hand cart is being stored, no one's complained, so I could just leave it there, I suppose. But it's just going to be out in all weathers. Mind you, my one out front has lasted at least 10 years and still going. There's still no rot on it because I go out there every two years at least and uh, just give it a fresh coat of paint. That keeps the rust back anyway. Because naturally I didn't primer it or anything because it's... It's a trailer, it's just going to get knocked and banged and the paint's going to get chipped and everything. So I've never done a decent job. But uh, it's lasted this long. <laughs> the paint I use, like I said, it's lasted every couple of years or so, two or three years. So I think in the time I've had it, I've only done three coats of paint on it, to be honest. Anywho, I am going to disappear. So I'll get this video up tomorrow as well. I've got a bike I want to bring up here to uh, work on. Just because the weather's turning crap. So uh, I'm going to do all that. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to, you can like the video. It's up to you. Or dislike it. It's up to you. I'm not one of these... YouTubers that get butt hurt over dislikes. Likes are better, obviously, but you know, the way I see it, YouTube has given you, the viewer, the option to pick either or, so pick either or. If you don't like the video, you don't like the video. But uh, anyway, as I said, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.